Okay, so we're gonna learn how to measure a patient if we're doing from chest to toes. Long scanogram, right? So we're assuming that this is the toes and then way back here is where the chest is. So the patient's head is right here and always look at your table where your scan line ends. So as long as a patient is below this black line, then everything can get scanned. So chest is gonna be here and then the toes are gonna be there. So how do we know how long this patient is if our table is long enough? So what you do is you're gonna go in, use your light, and that's the toes right there. Right there so you're gonna zero that out that's the inside light so right now you're gonna zero it out uh, there it is so now we're zeroed out and what you do is you know that you're at zero you get it so what you're gonna do is turn on your light again oops the other way and you're just gonna go all the way until that inside light reaches where your desired position is going to be so that's the top of the chest and that's where you want it to be right there right top of the chest so you know in your machine you're going to have this much so if your scanner is at like 800 0 to 800 when you start it's not going to work Wait, one at 800? No, zero to 800. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you're at like 1,542. You're at 1,500. Okay. So you need to extend your number on your machine, on your okay. screen, to at least this much. Okay. So put 1,600 or 1,550, whatever, because okay. you know your exact number is going to be this. If you start at zero to that, so you're going to change it. And that's how you extend your scanogram, your... Okay. your, yeah. your Yeah. Scout, Scout images, scanogram, topogram, there's so many. Is this the one where you do the. I think That's it's how the it chest, is. Then you do the runoff, then you go back to the chest, add it in the pelvis? This is something different. Is something different? Well, that's the one. I only see that once and I was yeah. like trauma. So, also, you don't want the feet hanging over the edge. Yeah, because the, the scan doesn't scan back here out of the table so don't, don't make sure the toes are not on the, the not at the edge and in the, on the table so that's it that's how you get your scan and you can do that with anything just as long as you measure where you need to be from zero to whatever and then set your light and then reset where you need to go because technically you're going to go back and zero it out on top of the chest you're just doing it to see how much um, length you need. That's it, okay. Toodles. Zero it out there, right? So let's say that's the end of the feet. So this is the top of the shoulder where you want to start scanning. So if that's where you want to start scanning, the 1569, when you zero it, and there, you Now you start. Oh, okay. Yeah, so s zero it up there and then zero it back here when you're ready. Good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But right here's your number. Got it. Because so this, this, this is your scalp. So this is where you really wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. So, so right change there. that to zero. Mm -hmm. Right. Zero. Enter. And then this, the end position is. What did it say? 1569? Uh huh. Or 1550. 1550? Yeah. And that's it. That's where you start and end. So normally this would be like, I don't know, 900. And then this is when you measure everything and then get your numbers right. And that's how you do it.